Hey guys, so I bought myself a horse trailer, a two horse trailer. I wonder if maybe I didn't buy myself a rust bucket. There's a lot of holes there. So I'm thinking now, will I be able to fix this guy up? Just to be kind of half decent. Good old mattress. Anybody wants a mattress? It's free. It smells like mice though. So that's what the trailer looks like. It runs or well you can tow it and the wheels turn. I do not know if the electric brakes work. We'll have to figure that out. So this is my new project. Not that I don't have enough projects going on at the moment. Uh, on this side I was disking and I broke the steering so I'm busy uh, welding the steering up front axle then I'm also working on a chicken plucker and many other little things but uh, somebody wants to borrow this trailer even though it's not even fixed up yet so I'm going to jump onto this quickly, fix it up so that she can tow her horses wherever she want to go. This trailer has a couple of nice features that I like a lot. Uh, one of them, I think the one that I like the most is this uh, ramp at the back. So it stays on, it's, it's mounted and uh, it's very easy to use and it's always available and uh, when you when you get some skittish cows that doesn't want to step up uh, awesome the ramp you, you you need a ramp definitely need a ramp so you're just going to disconnect it from the side here drop it down it's got a non-slip mat over it um, so that's also good Inside the trailer, I also got uh, non-slip mats, which is awesome, and it cleans very easily. Uh, so you just get a pressure washer and clean it out. Then inside the trailer, it's uh, got a compartment, uh, so I can split this into two. So if you have a small calf or or maybe baby lambs or whatever you can close this latch here you can open this latch and and it's hooked on and you can divide it into two compartments which is awesome I love it I love it then also another feature that I like, uh, this has got two lights, one in the front, one in the back. Especially, you know, I, uh, you're traveling during the night, you want to quickly check on the animals. Uh, just pressing a button, having a light inside the trailer is, is really helpful. The floor, awesome floor. Uh, I guess the guy that I bought it from just recently redid the whole floor. It's brand new boards and it's solid. The nice feature is once these gets all rotten, you can just unscrew it and replace it. Very nice. Um, not too much rust inside. A quick sand down. And I guess I will paint it the same color, keep it the gray color inside. Outside, I'm gonna paint red.
The tools I'm going to use is an angle grinder. It's a four and a half, maybe, yeah, five inch angle grinder. And I've got these grinding sand discs, which is good. And I have a grinding disc as well. So the sanding disc, grinding disc. And then I got this palm sander. And I have a stack of, I think, 60 and 80 grit sanding paper so that's the tools i'm going to use oops i forgot i also have a heavy duty riveter so just for for rivets and then some bondo to fill up all these cracks and holes for the places where where there's lots of pitting i'll use a chisel and just get most of it off. It kind of peels off, so I'll do that before I grind. thinking to use the grinder first to get the rough spots off all the pitting and then the sander after that Something like that for the grinding and then the disc. sander like that I guess if, if I have a finish like that it should be okay and then some primer some rusted primer and then a final coat of paint Short from grinding right through the steel, I'm not going to get those rust spots out. So hopefully the primer will stop that. We'll see. Otherwise I'll have to just grind all this out, get some bondo to fill it. It's too much. It's over the top. No, this is good enough. Well, this is what the trailer looks like after sanding for a couple of days, hours and hours of sanding. I think it's uh, almost ready to be painted, but we're getting close. Um, I'm almost done with the prepping 
this video is all about prepping the next video will be about uh, the painting uh, and the priming and maybe uh, replacing some of the trims stay tuned for part two maybe even a part three of the restoration of the trailer well if you like the video please uh, subscribe and hit the like button i will make some more videos until later